Okay, hi everybody. I've been asked to do a very short video on this. What is, and this is so important, an ETF? This is an exchange traded fund, an ETF. And over the last seven to 10 years, is the fastest growing vehicle out there. Everybody's jumping onto these things called ETF when it comes to trading and investing in the stock market. And this is why. The reason is, is because when you have, think about it, this is an exchange traded, okay, everything's ex traded on an exchange, fund, right? Now, the fund structure normally means that you have an active fund manager who's paid millions probably in order to kind of like buy, sell, buy, sell within a fund. And people put money within that fund. That's an actively managed fund. And in return, you know, that person is probably wants 3%, 4% or more management fees every single year. So think about that. Your money will be down by three or four percent if it just stays still it'll be down so you're you're paying quite a lot what an etf does and this is what is so amazing was why everybody's jumping onto it is it's a ready-made call it a basket right pretend this is a basket basket of shares okay where in advance the selected companies have been put in and they don't need to be actively managed by a fund manager and therefore instead of charging let's say three to four percent a year maybe it's about 0.45 to 0.6 so let's say 0.5 percent a year that's half a percent as opposed to three to four percent which is absolutely fantastic now before i said that this is the fastest growing vehicle and has been for the last seven to ten years or so why is that because you can literally buy an ETF of gold, an ETF of silver. How would you invest in oil, right? Are you gonna invest in oil and then ding dong, you know, well, who's that? And there's a lorry there delivering the oil. No, what you do is you buy a what? An ETF of oil, that's what, it, that's what you do, okay? You can buy an ETF of an entire market. For example, the S&P 500. That means that there are, how many? If, if I bought the S&P 500, that means that you're diversified. You've bought into a, an ETF, a fund of 500 different companies within this basket. So you're totally diversified, okay? You can do it of the Dow Jones, of the S&P 100, of the, of the DAX, the German DAX, etc. And that is why we use ETFs all the time. So for example, we'd be buying, because it's so safe, think about it, right? You could buy one stock, could that go to zero? Yes, it could. So you better trade that and have a stop loss. But if you're investing, you want to be getting into something that spreads your risk, right? So for example, yes, you can buy an ETF of gold, but you can also buy an ETF of gold miners, right? Lots and lots of miners. And if you want to take on even more risk, you can buy an ETF of junior gold miners. So those are the smaller ones that are in there like that. So I hope that that's important that you understand what is an ETF because we use them all the time. And when I say all the time, yep, all the time, really I do. So what I'd love for you to do is maybe just comment below, like, do you use an ETF and which one do you use? Okay, which one is the best one? And, and more importantly, why do you use it? And go ahead and do that now. What I'm gonna say to you is this. Let's say you're looking for an ETF of gold or silver or whatever it is that you're looking for. And there might be several of them because there's gonna be different service providers that are offering an ETF. I mean, there's several service providers of gold ETFs. There's several service provider of uh, the Dow Jones ETF, for example. There's gonna be several of them, right? Which one do you choose? So here's, do your own research always, but here is a little golden nugget for you, okay? Always go for the one that is the largest and that has the most volume. And volume is the more people buying and selling because what you don't want is to go into a small ETF that nobody uses and then there's no liquidity so you can't get out very easily at the price you want. You wanna go for the biggest or one which everybody is buying and selling in. Okay, so when you get that list, and by the way, there's a site on the internet where you can actually look this up. Now before, before I tell you what this site is, for, you know, for the best ETFs, can you quickly write, if you know this site, can you quickly write below, write, write what it is, go on, just, I dare you to write, what is it? And that is, I don't know where you've seen this, right? You just look it up, you, it's www.g, brilliant site, o, 
go. Yeah. O, ooh, it's a good site, right? GLE.com, right? If you just go onto Google and you just look up, you know, what are the best ETFs for, whatever it is that you're looking for, they'll give you a list, right? And from that point on, you just need the one that ha which is the biggest and has the most volume. That's the one to choose, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do make sure that you like this video. I'd be very, very grateful that you did. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, okay? Go ahead and do that now because we wanna make sure that you don't miss out on all the videos that we're gonna be sending you on this valuable information, okay? Which is either gonna make you a lot more money, but also save you a lot of money so you don't make the mistakes that I've made in the last 20 years of trading and investing. So thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed the video.